Well, I absolutely love herbs. I know Brian Pirtle does as well. And mm -hmm. Brian, herbs have been around for centuries. Forever. You know, the Greeks, the Romans, Native Americans, mm -hmm. and even the Bible. When you look in the Bible, there's references to herbs all throughout the Bible. So every culture um, since the beginning of time have used herbs. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about what they are because, you know, to me and a lot of people, they're plants, but they mm -hmm. have unique uses. I consider herbs just a useful plant, something that you could use the leaf, you can use the stem, you can use the flower, the root, uh, any part of that plant, and you would use it for flavoring food, for tea. Some people will use them for potpourri. Uh, and also people will use them for crafts. I, and my favorite use for herbs is things like this fennel is a butterfly larva host. And oh, so okay. a butterfly will lay its eggs on there, the egg will hatch, and the butterfly larva, which is a caterpillar, will eat this plant to a nub and then turn into a beautiful butterfly. Well, and speaking of that, part of what I love so much about herbs, because you and I both love to cook, mm -hmm. is that they, they do better the more you cut them. That's right. That's so, right. So, darn, you have to use them in order for the them to be healthy. The more you use them, the better they <laughs> are. And one thing I love about TLC's herbs, when you buy them, they're enormous. And so a lot of herbs are tiny and little, and you have to wait till the end of the season to use them. You could plant this, use it, and it'll continue, you can t continue to use it the entire mm -hmm. season. And one thing I wanted to mention is the price. This big, nice herb is $2.99, so you get a, a whole lot of value uh, for your money, not to mention the quality, the selection that we have that we'll be looking at in a little bit mm -hmm. is just incredible. So how do you take care of them? The first thing, I always tell my customers when they come in to grow herbs, I say the three most important things are drainage, drainage, and drainage. Oh. <laughs> they hate wet feet. Herbs hate to sit down in water. So if you have a low-lying area, you want to put, a, put them in a raised bed okay. or just elevate the bed a little bit. Containers are a great way to grow herbs. Mm -hmm. Here's a, some herbs in a strawberry pot. I think that that's a great idea. And so that's, the key is for sure drainage. The other keys are sun. They need at mm -hmm. least a half a day of sun. And uh, fertility is not a big deal. They don't like to be fertilized a lot. So, when so I it's plant not them, like roses where you have to exactly. be feeding them or every month. Even or your bedding plants that you have okay. to feed them all the time. I like to put a little bit of organic material in there, something like this TLC uh, plant food. And then I'll put a, an organic fertilizer or something like Osmocote. And I'll only do that once a year, just one mm -hmm. shot once a year, and that will keep them fed the entire year. They like it a little bit lean. And something else, something else I wanted to mention is that herbs just aren't for using. There's a lot of beautiful herbs, and I just put a little mm -hmm. compilation of some, some of the herbs that I think are just beautiful and useful in the landscape aesthetically, not just for, to eat. Uh, things like rosemary, lavender, and uh, things like the cat mint, they're, they're just beautiful, and then also, some of, the, some of them are, go both ways. This is a sage that is very pretty and ornamental, mm -hmm. but it's also usable. Uh, mm -hmm. You can use it to cook the turkey with. Yeah, that's terrific. Well, so tell us, we've got a wide variety of herbs here at TLC, and that's mm -hmm. part of what I love. No matter what, you know, what you're looking for, you can find it here. That's right. We've got everything. We're uh, looking at rosemary here. And, and I don't know if you've ever grown rosemary. And what I love about rosemary and thyme and oregano, they come back every year here every in Oklahoma. Every year, yes. And they're so easy to grow, uh, so easy to use in the garden as well. And they do come back. A lot of the herbs are perennials. And just look at the selection that we have. Here's just more and more. This whole row is all different varieties of thyme. People don't realize there's lemon thyme. There, and, That's and right. each one of them. And it, and if you're okay with this, it's good for them to like to pick a little, to pick a leaf and smell it. I agree. I, I think it's a good idea to pick a leaf and put it in their mouth and taste it. Mm -hmm. or, or smell it and just get an idea of what you're getting. Like you said, there's lemon thyme, there's regular thyme, there's variegated thyme. And so there's a, a different use for, for all of them in cooking. And, and in cooking and also, I know before we've used them as pathway plants, which mm -hmm. I love that idea. That is a great because idea. Because they're, they're two different uses. I mean, you can Definitely. have them covering steps. You can see how, how then, low they grow and they'll mm -hmm. just, and they're very hardy. I'm glad you mentioned that. That's one of the best, uh, that's one of the best ground covers for a sunny area is thyme. Yeah. And so you can use it ornamentally like that and then you can go out and pick it and use it in your, in your salads or in your cooking as well. So it looks like some, uh, curly parsley and is that basil as well? Uh, that is curly parsley and this is a variety of pineapple sage. Oh sage. Okay. Yes and smell that. It oh, smells like awesome. apple. It's called Granny Smith and, it's, and it smells like an <laughs> apple. And uh, so you would use that in something like a mm. tea to flavor a, a tea. Mm -hmm. And this is a, we make up these little pots and these are 
pre-made herb pots. If you don't want to do your own pot, you can come in here and get several different varieties of herbs all in one pot. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to show you all the different, look at all the basils, the different varieties of basils, uh, all the varieties of sages. Uh, mint is another one that I use a lot of. I use a lot of mint in cooking, and uh, I just I love the smell of it. I love to use it in tea and in different drinks and things like that. But now with mint, if you don't want it to go everywhere, keep it in a container. That's right. Keep it in a container or a contained area. If you let okay. mint get loose in the garden, you'll it's hard to get rid of. Unless you, I guess some people, and I've done this in some mm -hmm. areas of my yard, use it as a little bit of a ground cover. Use it as a ground cover. You can come in and mow yeah. it with the lawnmower or weed eat it with the weed eater. Yeah. Oh, that's terrific. Mm -hmm. Well, Brian, thank you for giving us some great ideas. Oh, my pleasure. There's so much to do with herbs, and they're healthy for you, too. That's right. Very healthy. That's right. Thank you. Well, coming up next, Linda Shackelford will be along the Garden Guru to answer your garden questions. Stay with us.